Hello everyone, peace be with you and thank you so much for joining me here at the Galaxy with God Love Notes. Of course, I'm not going to be doing a tarot reading right now, but I just need to share a thought. All right, I thank you so much, my new and returning subscribers. I really appreciate your energies, your likes, your shares, your comments. I really appreciate you all. Thank you so much for being a part of my journey so we can all grow together. All right, um, I have this thing I want to talk about. Sometimes people look at you and they see you alone. They think you are always alone or you're single and or you're lonely. But um, I come up with this to realize that not because a person sees you alone, that does not mean you're lonely. And a person see you single, that does not mean that you are alone. Because you are able, are working on yourself. You're working on self-love. You're working on how to appreciate yourself. This is a matter of me, myself, and I, and it has nothing to do with being selfish. Sometimes the word selfish is very strong, but you have to be able to work on yourself. It's like going on an aircraft. They said, if you're oxygen, if you should by chance need oxygen, put your oxygen on first before you can help another. Is, is, this is the same scenario. You have to learn the art of self-love. Love yourself first, then you're able to love each other. However, um, people who is always by themselves, they are the strongest. It's like running a company. These people see themselves as running their own company, me, myself, and I. It has nothing to do with selfishness, but they love themselves to the point where they don't even need people because they find solace in their own self, their own body, their own self-love. This is called self-love. These people, they might just, well, this person might be living alone and you say, my God, this person is so lonely. No, chances are this person is the happiest person in the world because by themselves, they are a complete household. They are a complete family, me, myself, and I. You might be seeing this person, um, Talking to themselves, I hope themselves don't answer them, but they're happy. Most times these people are happy people, but we can't see it because we say, oh my God, living alone now, this is self-love. So when this, these persons, when they go into a relationship, for example, they don't need anyone. They do not need anyone. And it sounds harsh to say that, but these people, they don't need anyone. They want you. They want and appreciate your company. They would love to have your company around them. But if you can't fulfill their what they need, they can go solo. They can go by themselves. That's no problem because that's what they're used to. But it would be nice to have someone around. And that's how empaths or people who love themselves feel. So... As I said, not because people see you alone, that does not mean you're lonely. One of my friends one day, he said, Beverly, you don't have a lot of friends that you go out with. And I said, I'm fine. I don't need, I don't feel like I need that because I know who I am. In it, when I was much younger, I tried to figure out who I was. I couldn't find it. But the older I get, I said, age has a message for us. Age has a message for us. I wish when I was 20, I was as, not say wise, because I can be wiser. I know what I know now. I'll be able to reach more people, but everything is in God's timing. So I really appreciate the fact that I'm still alive and I'm able to share my experience. And this is, when I speak, when I speak of um, wanting to be alone, I'm speaking of myself. Most of my time, I am by myself. I am not aloof. I am not... I love people. I love people deeply. I love people to the point where I see myself in everyone, regardless of their color, creed, or culture. I see myself in everyone. So but, but if a person can love themselves that deeply, everybody else, love is emanating from you to them. And this is the love that God speaks about. Earlier in my life, I know I was called to do something. I never think it was going to be anything to have to do with public speaking because I'm never wanting to be on camera. I don't know why, but 
I don't like to be, I don't like to be, hmm, or do, or what, what do I say? I don't like to be public. I, I'm a private person. I'm a really private person. I don't like to be on a public announcement system. I don't want, yeah, I've worked in areas where I have to go on the PA. I do it because of jobs. But to be on camera, this is a way different thing. But I had to do it because my angels, my guides, they were nudging me to make a YouTube channel. They even gave my channel this name, the Galaxy with God Love Notes. But I added Galaxy to it. And they wanted me to use love notes because they've said, I've put you through all of what you've been through through life. And trust me, I've been through it. <laughs> I've been through it. I'm not bitter. I am better because of all my experiences. And I should say, thank God for the strength. You know, I've been, I've, I've been broken physically, emotionally, financially, and otherwise. I've been broken. But I was picked up back. My God, God has realized that, you know what? She's not done yet. I have something more for her to do. So here I am on camera. <laughs> Anyways, collectives, thank you so much for being here. And thank you so much for joining the Galaxy with God Love Notes. Peace, I leave with you. Goodbye.